Hi guys, welcome back. We know almost all our activities are being tracked online, especially in the e-commerce and services websites like Netflix, Amazon, Flipkart, wherever that you use, your activities are being tracked. And there could be multiple reasons why these activities are being tracked. But today we are going to see how we can use these interactions which are used by marketing team to target a specific customer. We are going to see how that can be empowered using chat GPT and how we could leverage the power of chat GPT to understand what is happening with our interactions. So let's get back to the reason why our activities are being tracked. As you can see, our activities are being tracked especially to recommend a specific product based on our previous search or show the relevant ads to the people so that they could purchase the product or improve the experience of our application as well as gather the data on the behavior or the preference based on the services that you're looking for and also to improve the services which is available. So these are the reason why our activities are being tracked. And there are multiple different companies exist to track our activities. Something like Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics, Mixpan, Heapweek, something like that. And all these companies that we are seeing over here are especially used to collect all our information like interactions and activities and will be helpful for the companies who are trying to track our activities really. So in this particular video, we are going to see how we could able to use ChatGPT to use this interaction and mine the data pretty much like how a marketer does. And we will see without having any knowledge of how you can do data mining pretty much like a marketing specialist, you could able to use chat GPT to do the data mining. So that is what we are going to be discussing. So for that, I'm going to flip to chat GPT right now. So I have my chat GPT window open over here. But first of all, we need the data which we need to mine really. So in order to do that, I'm going to use Chrome browser. And over here, I'm going to open one of the famous online uh, website in India, which is the Mintra.com. And we are going to see how we could able to capture the interaction that the user does. There are many different ways that the companies try to capture the interaction of a user. And I'm going to show you how we could able to view the particular uh, interactions really by using the Chrome dev tool available. So I I think we need to press the F12 and over here within this Chrome dev tool you can see that I have installed an extension called as Omnibug. So this is one of the most interesting plugin which can help you to, to view all the tracking information just happening behind the scenes in the website. Let's say if I go and search for example uh, Levi's and if I choose Levi's jean over here you will notice that there are some interactions happening like DC, conversation, and page view. So these are something like Google Analytics and Google AdSense as well as the Facebook AdSense are gonna keep track of us. So let's say if I try to click the wish list and then I see there is a sign in page, which I'm just gonna ignore and I'm gonna search for Pepe Jean or something like that. And if I hit enter, it's gonna bring me up the Pepe Jean there. And I'm gonna click this and that's it. These are the two interactions which I have did. I've just searched for the uh, Levi's gene and then I searched for Pepe gene. I tried adding one in the wish list and probably I can add this in the wish list as well. And then I'm done with the interactions really. So in reality, what happens is these interactions are going to be sent to the respective uh, websites like the Google Analytics website or the Facebook Analytics or Adobe Analytics, something like that. And that is the place where these marketing people are going to data mine our data and target a specific customer like this person has did this wish list over here. We can target this particular audience to make him purchase the gene. So that is how the things will work behind the scene. But today, we're going to see how we could able to do as a marketer, use all these interactions and ask chat GPT to give us some useful information, right? So in order to do that, I'm going to export all these requests and I'm going to call this as Mintra and I'm going to export this as a CSV. I'm going to copy this data from the CSV and then I'm going to post this in the uh, chat GPT and then we'll ask some questions like how the person really ask. Again, there are some limitations like how much uh, length that you can copy paste in chat GPT. I think it is less than 4,000. So if you go beyond it, then chat GPT is going to complain that uh, the request is too long or the parameter is not accepted. We'll try to see if that is really working fine or not. So the CSV file has been downloaded. So I think the size of this particular uh, file is like 17 KB. I think 17 KB is not really accepted. Uh, so the, the size is a bit higher. So I'm going to remove some of the content from here. I know that we are going to lose some interaction there, but I'm just going to show you uh, at least what will happen with this minimal interaction that we have got. So I'm going to go to the chat GPT and I'm going to go to GPT maybe three. And then I'm going to ask like analyze the interaction and uh, show 
data inside and this is the data that i'm trying to paste over here see this is like completely a csv data based on the interaction that we just exported and we'll see if chat gpt can really analyze the data for us and you can see that it is now giving us some useful information there it tells me that the provider data consists of interaction captured by omnibug tool and it also tells that the first event is the google analytics event which sends the data to google analytics server and the second event is a navigation event where the user the you are leading to mintra page for levi's gene and this event represents the user navigation to a specific url and it also gives a third event which is the conversation and it gives me like the conversation id and then there is a fourth event of the page view fifth event the scroll event sixth event so it's literally just giving us a summary of what happened to each and every event really but i don't want to get this level of detail rather i really want some useful information pretty much like mining that data there so in order to do that let's say if i want to ask like show me all the categories of products in the interaction so let's see if a uh, chat gpt can give this information to us so it tells me that based on the provider uh, information the data is not being captured uh, so it, it told us that there is a levi's gene but it t thinks that that is not available so i'm just going to ignore this for now and i'm going to go to gpt4 and i'm going to ask the same question so let's say analyze interaction and give insight I'm not sure whether ChatGPT is still going to accept this uh, length of data. Uh, looks like it is accepting, which is a good news. Then it tells that the data that you provide appears to be a series of interaction from the user on the website, specifically the Mintra website. And it gives a very, very granular detail of information. It tells me that 1240 32, a Google Analytic event has been triggered indicating some user activity. And then it tells that in 1240 36, the user navigated to the Levi's gene page on Mintra indicated by the navigation event uh, so pretty much exactly the same kind of uh, detail that we just saw in the gpt 3.5 but it is giving us like a timeline time slice information about each and every operation that we tried doing it and you can also see by 12 40 51 several events are being triggered almost simultaneously which are these events which is cool it also gives me some information related to uh, which operating system that we tried performing in and what is the screen resolution of the operating system and what is the google chrome version so it gives me so much of information based on that interaction so let's say i'm going to ask uh, what product did user try to uh, purchase and if i hit enter this time it should tell me that the we were trying to purchase levi's gene and you can see that it is telling me that based on the data provided the user seems to be browsing for levi's gene on the website mentor.com however there isn't any explicit indication in the provider data that the user suggestion is making to purchase any of these uh, product because it is not added to the cart something like that so we'll ask like is this product being added in wish list so, so based on the information provided, there is no clear indication that the Levi's gene provided has been added to the wish list. But looks like the data that we have provided doesn't have the uh, information about the wish list being added. So probably the user activity or maybe the Google Analytics activity which triggers the wish list is not being triggered because I was not logged in really. Or maybe if I have logged in, the activity would be a bit different comparatively. But so far, it looks like there is no wish list event being triggered from the particular website. That is the reason why we don't have have this information being captured so let's say if i want to ask what's the price range the user was looking for the product so you can see that immediately chat gpt says that it is trying to search for the levi's gene but if the user has filtered the, the price or view product with a certain price range then that information might exist but that information is still not there so it looks like what we have got like what we tried to mine the data with a very very limited set of uh, interaction that we tried performing over here we got so much of information right what if this whole information with a logged in user exists for marketer and what if they tried using chat gpt to try to mine the data it is going to be mind-blowing to be honest it is going to bring so much of information for the marketer like an insight of what a person is trying to search the last thing which i wanted to show probably which actually worked for me is going to be the flipkart website so i'm going to go there and i will quickly show you how awesome chat gpt did perform while i was trying to search before so let's say i'm going to search for a samsung tv there 
and you will see that the Samsung TV ad is all you know, coming up here and there are some conversation, but there is no uh, analytics information going on. So let's say if I'm gonna search for uh, bikes uh, over here, the petrol bike, and then I'm gonna search for probably like perfume uh, for men like that. Uh, and there are some perfume coming up and then I'm gonna choose a price range there and I'm gonna say, for an above star that's it these are the activities that i have done and i'm going to export this pretty much like how we did before uh, and export it i'm going to open this one the csv file in the notepad and you can see that the size is quite lesser so we have a lot of information there and the size of this particular uh, flip card is much much lesser that's why i wanted to choose this flip card i'm going to say analyze the interaction and show me data insight and I'm gonna paste this over here. So you will notice that this time, ChatGPT is going to give more realistic information, which I got while I was trying before. And you can see that there are some information related to the event types and providers. It also has information related to accounts, category interest, and the categories are like televisions, vehicles, like bikes and scooter. You remember we were searching for a Samsung TV. So that's the reason why it says the category of interest is television. And then we searched for uh, petrol bike and that's the reason why it tells us the category as vehicle and then it tells us the beauty product because we're searching for a men's perfume so all these things are coming over here and you can see that all these categories of interest are coming up for us super easily and it also tells me the timestamp where it tells me that the, roughly 30 minutes on 12th of may the person actually uh, spent the time over here uh, on this particular website but we actually spent less than that but i think it's all because of the conversation really uh, it's all coming up over here so i'm gonna ask like show the categories all the product which the user searched. So you can see that now it is telling me that based on the PCAT or the product category uh, information on this particular event, it could be able to find that there were television, vehicle and beauty and grooming stuffs all coming up over here. Amazing, right? Like all these data are mined pretty much like how we uh, search for the information as if like a person we could able to just use the raw data and then mine the data using the uh, chat gpt so this is another way that we can or the marketing person can use to mine our data using chat gpt with the limited interaction that i just showed you but what if there is a vast majority of information that exists for a marketer or tool like analytics or uh, the Google Analytics or the Facebook Analytics or Adobe Analytics, all these company, if they try to bring in ChatGPT inside it, hopefully they're already working on it, then we will have like a conversational search of all these dimensions, custom dimensions, as well as the analytics information much, much easily, pretty much like targeting the user on the online world is going to be super, super easier than compared to what we are doing at the moment right now. So that's it, guys. This is about ChatGPT for data mining with much much lesser interaction and gives us so much of information over here just let me know what you think about as a marketing person or a data mining person who always do use these kind of tool for your everyday operation just put those details in the comments below which will be very helpful for the person who are watching these videos as well once again thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day